Let's have a look on this bonus task, FISPAS, famous task in the internet. So let's first do it with a for loop and with some ifs. We need a loop which goes from 1 to 100. So let's start with a range for e and range starting with 1. If you would like to go to 100, you have to make 101 in here. And let's say we print this i. So what we get in here is 1, 2, 3, 4, which looks OK. Just the fizz and the bus are missing. So what we have to do, let's first say we try to fetch the um, 3. Yeah, so if i is divisible i modulo 3 equals to 0, then let's say print, what is it, fizz. Um, else we print this i. And you see the fizz are already all well placed. Now let's go for the bus. And let's say a first naive solution could be if i uh, is modulo 5 equals to 0, let's print bus. Uh, sorry, not if, elif. Uh, so what you see here is fizz, bus, fizz is all fine. However, the 15, yeah, which should be fizz, bus, is only fizz. Why? Uh, you can see here fizz, bus, 15 should be fizz, bus, because it's both dividable by 3 and 5. But why is only fizz printed? Because we only go through this first part. So what we have to do in here, we have to enter a second if. So if i mod phi equal to 0, uh, we print fifth bath else we are going for this fifth. So you see now it works. We have fizz, we have bus, and at the 15 we have re replaced the 15 with fizz bus, and the list goes up to 99, 100, which is fizz and bus. Let's try a second solution. Yeah. What sometimes is a little bit weird if you have these kind of nested ifs. And maybe it's more easy to have, let's say, more elifs rather than nesting. So what you can do then is the following. For e in range, for i in range one, 100, yeah, we start with the most special case. So we say if uh, i modulo 3 equals to 0 and i modulo 5 equals to 0, then we say print fifth bus. We make it easy right at the very beginning. We say print i. Uh, so what you see, the 15 and the 30 are correctly identified. So we next take the next thing, elif i is modulo 3 equals to 0. Then we say print fizz. And we do this in one step, elif i modulo Five equals to zero. We say print path and we let it run. Do you see the result is as before? We have fizz pass and we have fizz, fizz passes. So what is the difference in here is you do not have this nesting. Instead, you go start with the most special case fizz pass. and then you have three other three other cases. The one where only Modulo 3 is valid, 
equals to zero and when modulo five equals to zero is valid and if it's not divisible at all then you have simply to print this i so this is a second solution so we were asked to, to do this with list comprehension as well so let's give it a try so how does list comprehension work you have first have to create a list so what we say here i for i in range 1 to 101 and then we have to loop over this list for i in fb print i so what do we get we get our list from 1 to 100 however we do not have this um, filtering for this fizz buses so how do we do this filtering what we say is fizz bus if i mod 3 equals to 0 and i mod 5 equals to 0 and else we say i for e in range again we let it run yeah, what you can see is we have this fifth bus now we have to include the others this single fizz and the single bus as well yeah, so what we have to do in here we have to get some more else cases actually you cannot write elif you have to write several times this else if you use this um, list comprehension and what we say here we should have fizz if i mod 3 equals to 0 else bus if i sorry if i mod 5 equals to 0 and i put this else in here we have one else too much now so but now you can see we have these different results fizz bus fizz bus i with the conditions and the else in between let's give it a try if it works so it does yeah, so this is a solution which works with list comprehension.